Hello traders, Corey Mitchell here with TradeThatSwing.com and in this video we're going to look at a history of stock market declines in charts. We're going to look at all the declines that went 15% up to 50% with the idea being that once you see the smaller declines and how fewer and fewer of them turn into larger declines, you can start to assess uh, sort of risk and downside potential in various scenarios. I'm recording this on April 13th. Uh, as you can see, this article is just updated uh, on April 11th, so pretty up-to-date charts. And if we pull up this one, this is showing all the 15% declines. Uh, this is a two-week chart, so there may be a couple other little ones in there that if they were very short-lived. But uh, a two-week chart time frame going back to 1871, and the biggest so far, a decline has reached a maximum of 21%. So this is a timely time to do this video because where does that stack up? When we look at history, how likely is it that we are going to continue lower? As you can see, 15% declines or bigger are extremely common. This is showing all, all these red is showing all the declines of 15% or greater. So you can see 21% there, 29%. Uh, 52% here during uh, the financial crisis. Uh, a lot of information on this chart. Uh, a couple takeaways here is that we tend to have these, at least since the 50s, these bigger trending periods followed by a sideways period. This one lasted about 11 years. This one lasted about 13 years. And we have these 20 to 30 year bull markets in between. And yeah, it can take time to recover from these big declines. 17 years sideways, 25 years to recover uh, back to the 2030 high. Uh, that didn't happen until way over here in the middle, mid 50s. This one, 13 years to recover the 2000 high. Uh, we did, I believe we slightly exceeded it in 2008 and then uh, had the decline. Uh, if you included dividends, would it definitely uh, eclipsed it. This is an index. It does not include dividends. And then finally got above it. Um, yeah, 13, 14 years later. So those are a couple good takeaways, but let's now go to 20% declines and we'll see that the chart, you know, you can see really messy. Even at 20%, a lot of 15% declines don't turn into 20% declines. And so the chart getting a little less messy, but still a lot of 20% plus declines out there. And if you just kind of pop through the numbers, a lot of these are in the 20s. Just something to keep in mind as we go through these, because you are gonna start to notice that, yeah, how many of these declines actually turn in? Why do I say that? Because inevitably when we drop 10 or 15%, you're gonna see tons of people posting charts comparing it to the 1930s or comparing it to 2000 or 2008 and saying, oh, this is, you know, we look exactly like we did, we're, we're gonna fall. It's kind of fear mongering in the sense that, you know, this 10% decline is gonna turn into a 50% decline. And the reason I'm recording this video is to just show that, hey, maybe, it, yeah, it is possible. Some of them do turn into 50% declines, but how many of those actually do? It's actually probably more rare than you think. So 25% declines, charts getting a lot cleaner. You know, over here is kind of crazy. And, but, you know, after the 1950s, we're kind of looking at about two declines of 25% every five to 15 years. So they don't happen very often. Uh, during this entire rally from through the 80s up until the 2000 high, we had one, we had two. Since 2009, we've had one, we've had two, and we're at a 21% decline so far. So we're not at the 25% level. Once we get to 30, the chart cleans up a ton. There is just not a lot of 30% declines, especially after 1950. So, you know, you can make your own judgment from that, but basically if 20, 
if 20 and 25% declines generally do not turn into 30% declines, we could infer that generally 20 and 25% declines are pretty good buying opportunities usually because they don't turn into 30% declines. And so we can see that here, 37% in 60, 49% in the 70s, 50% in 2000, 57% during the financial crisis. And we've had one 30% decline during this uh, rally since 2009. 40% declines, these are, again, extremely rare. Only one during three decades here. We had two during this decade, what some call the lost decade, 13 years sideways. And 50% declines, which everyone says, you know, is coming when we drop 10% or 15%. And let's see how rare those are. Well, since 1950, there have been two, both, uh, you know, relatively close to each other there. Uh, but, you know, as you can see, similar pattern. These ones didn't drop quite as much during the 70s. But, you know, I believe this one was 30%. This one's like 49% or something. So these ones were close, but 50% declines are extremely rare. Now, of course, there is the possibility that even a 50% decline could turn into like what we had in the Great Depression. A 86% decline in the indices took... 25 years to recover. So you can take from that what you will, but let's just take a quick glance back or take a quick note of that, how clean that chart is with, you know, so few 50% declines on it. And then we go back to 15% declines. How many of these, you know, almost an uncountable number of 15% declines that did not turn into even 30% declines because that 30% chart was also pretty clean with not a whole lot of 30% declines. So just a little bit of historical perspective, things to keep in mind. Of course, you have to manage your own risk and decide when you're going to invest and trade. I don't like catching the falling knife. I do a weekly outlook each week where, oh yeah, 20% off uh, trading courses through Easter. Easter 2025. You can check out uh, all the trading courses available on Trade That Swing here. But each week I do a market outlook and this can be used. I use it for investing too. If the market's dropping, I want to see these health indicators improve and I want to see smiley faces down here basically saying, hey, yeah, we've potentially bottomed. We're looking pretty good. I'm going to start buying while indices are falling, once we get down to 25%, I do really start looking at uh, longer term holdings that I would want to potentially own, stocks that are solid, have great growth potential, that are holding up well while the market's dropping. Uh, once we start getting into that 25% decline, most of those do not drop to 30% or beyond. So I don't mind picking up some of those solid companies at great prices at that time. So a few different ways to use this information. I'll, again, I'll let you do what you want with it. But yeah, very interesting to see how most of these do not turn into even 30% declines. Much cleaner chart there. So use it how you like and happy trading out there. If you like this kind of content, hit the like and subscribe buttons please really helps me out and lets me know what kind of content you're looking for happy trading out there